So this is the first question from Dr. Long's Lecture 19 through 20 review questions. Um, the first question asks, what are the common second messengers seen in sig signaling pathways? So before I answer this question, I just want to go over briefly how signaling pathways work. Um, so in general, we call them G-protein coupled receptors. And in general, this signaling pathway involves an external ligand, so for example, epinephrine, um, binding to the membrane receptor. So with epinephrine, it would be a beta adrenergic receptor. And this protein activates an intracellular GTP binding protein. Um, we call these the G proteins. There's different forms of them. Uh, and this G protein regulates a separate enzyme that's usually membrane bound also. So in this case, the example would be adenylyl cyclase. And then this enzyme goes on to generate a second messenger, which is intracellular. So this leads us to a very common second messenger, which is cyclic AMP. Um, if you look at the name, Adenyl cyclase for the enzyme, it makes sense that this enzyme makes cyclic AMP. It's right there in the name. Um, the second messengers then activate or deactivate other intracellular enzymes. So, for example, cyclic AMP activates protein kinase A by phosphorylation, and this leads to an amplified cellular response to the original extracellular signaling ligand, so with cyclic AMP epinephrine. Um, Cyclic GMP is another common second messenger, and it's stru structurally similar to cyclic AMP. And another common signaling pathway involves inositol, triphosphate, diacylglycerol, and calcium as second messengers. So in this pathway, again, an extracellular sigma, uh, signal the hormone binds to a specific receptor, which then activates the G protein. By, it activates it, causing it to bind GTP. This is when it's activated. Um, the activated G protein then activates phospholipase C, so this is the enzyme in this signaling pathway. Um, phos phospholipase C goes on to cleave phosphatidyl inositol 4,5 biphosphate, and if you remember this from your first exam, it's a common phospholipid that's found in um, lipid bilayers. And this is uh, hydrolyzed by phospholipase C into inositol triphosphate, which it, for short, IP3 and diacylglycerol, or DAG. Um, IP3 then binds to a specific receptor in the endoplasmic reticulum of the cell and causes it to release uh, calcium ions. And the diacylglycerol that was released by phospholipase C together with calcium uh, activate protein kinase C at the plasma membrane, which then phosphorylates cellular proteins leading to a cellular response to the, to the original hormone molecule. So both of these are just two examples of how um, an external signaling molecule can cause an internal response in a cell.